Hi there. We've uh, done a video on managing collies as a single brood chamber. Uh, that video focused mostly on uh, what you do through the spring and summer. Uh, now we're in the fall of the year. It's November 11th. We're preparing to wrap our hives up for the winter. So I just wanted to touch back on management methods to get singles through the winter because that's the biggest concern with managing bees in one box. Uh, we have fed our hives very heavily, so they're almost impossible to pick up. They feel like they're bolted to the ground. We feed four imperial gallons of sugar syrup to each hive, so they're quite heavy uh, going into the winter. We've medicated the collies, and one advantage uh, when you're uh, working with a single brood chamber is your apivar strips or whatever miticide you're using is just going into one box. You don't have to separate two boxes uh, to get that uh, applied. Uh, so we uh, make sure their mite levels are low, they have a good queen in them, and that they have lots of food going into winter. Uh, we, by feeding that much in the fall, we don't have to do any kind of feeding in the winter or even any in the spring. Occasionally they'll get late enough in the spring where we do need to do a little bit of feeding, uh, but that's not, and most years we don't have to do that. Uh, so getting them ready for winter here, what we've done already is we've put an entrance reducer in the bottom, so that reduces drafts getting into the hive and also keeps mice in. But in a single brood chamber hive you rarely have any problems with mites because the bees are clustered right here and that's enough to keep the uh, mice away. Uh, because the bees are also right there, they do a really great job of cleaning up the bottom board, so we never have to clean up the bottom board. The bees do that work for us. Uh, in a double brood chamber, you get a lot of dead bees dropping the bottom. Uh, they're far away from the cluster, and so they rot and mold and get pretty stinky. So uh, this is a nice uh, advantage of using a single brood chamber hive. You know, beyond that, the way we wrap them and treat them is pretty much the same as you would with uh, a double. It's not that uh, difficult to do. When we harvest the fall honey though, we do have to feed immediately after taking the, the fall honey because there's very often not much honey in that brood chamber. So that timing is really critical there. So as far as wrapping them up though, we have the reducer in, we have an upper entrance uh, on the box here because we use these canvas inner cover so we can't have a, a notch in that to provide an upper entrance. Uh, we've already scraped all the top bars here to um, get any excess wax off so that when we put this insulation on uh, it sits down nicely and is not uh, pushed up so it's if, if working as an effective insulator. Uh, we use inch and a half uh, our 7.5 uh, insulation. Uh, this is a good durable product here. So then we place the winter wrap on the colony. What we use here is a corrugated plastic wrap. Our local beekeeping association, the Wellington County Beekeepers Association, get these made up and sell them. Uh, so they're quite popular here in Ontario. So we have an upper entrance hole drilled through that wrap that corresponds with the entrance of the hive. We get that down there and we want to make sure there's no space in here. If, there, if there's any extra space in there, you'll get mice moving up into that area. So we just close that over, put the lid on the hive, and the lid just fits on at the back. It's kind of propped up at the front. And then we place a brick on the hive. We then just leave the bees alone for the entire winter. In the spring we'll come around and tip them, make sure that they have some weight to them in case we need to do any spring feeding. But we leave these wraps on as long as possible. It's possible to just take them off and do any bee work you need in the spring and cover them up again. But we'll leave these on into May uh, so they help uh, keep the hives warm and allow more bees to be out foraging and less need to stay home to keep the, the brood warm. Uh, it's basically the same as you would winter a double brood chamber hive. 
Uh, with the exception of the, the timing of getting that feed on uh, very quickly after you take the honey supers off. And everything else is just advantages as far as I'm concerned. Thank you.